Hey guys, uh, Gao821 here with, with uh, another Revenge of the Fallen movie toy review. And we're looking at uh, Voyager Class Mixmaster. Uh, the third, uh, fourth Constructicon that, uh, in toy form that we've gotten for Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, this may seem kind of late, but whatever. Mixmaster. Uh, mixing truck. Big old Decepticon logo. Right there. There and there. Uh, nice purple. V nice purple windshield and windows. I love this. Love this figure. Best Constructicon ever. Um, just saying. Just saying. Uh, you got the cool, uh, uh, the, what's it called? Some, um, the cement pour thingy. So it can pour crap. Like that. And then you can do stuff like that. And he has a cool ladder here. And he has wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, six wheels. Um, he has cool striped, uh, striped uh, danger signs there, like the rivets in here and here and here and here. I, I just love the detail in this figure. Um, the stripes there, the stripes right there. It's truly amazing the quality of the Revenge of the Fallen figures were. Um, I just love these guys. Um, transformation is very, very frustrating, very difficult, very tedious. Um, uh, this guy didn't have a big major role in the movie except for that one part where he fought Jetfire and he got his head chopped off and crushed off. Uh, and also when he uh, formed Devastator's head. So, um, I mean, the, the, doesn't, this thing doesn't roll simply because of a uh, return, simply because of transformation. Uh, oh, got the cool side windows here. Side view windows here. Um, you got the cool smokestacks here. Um, windshield wipers, Decepticon logo, just all very nice, very, very clean, very nice mixing truck. It rolls very well. Um, it, it, it's a very solid mix, um, transformer. Um, you may be surprised simply because it just, um, simply because of what it turns into. It's very solid, very solid. No, no trouble with, with pegging things together or anything. Uh, nice, uh, I like the roof here, nice, there's these things here. Um, these are all soft, this is soft rubbery plastic, and, uh, the ladder is soft rubbery plastic, and so is this. This thing is soft rubbery plastic, so. Just saying, um, nice rims, nice, nice, very nice silver rims. And the cool part is, is that the front wheels are thinner than the thick wheels, just like in the real thing. And plus, the, the, the hubcaps on this one are, are different than the ones in the front. So it's, it's almost like a real truck. And I really like that, I'm really appreciative that Hasbro decided to do that. You got a nice molded-in door there. It doesn't open, sadly. Really nice detail overall, and you don't see that much robot kibble underneath. Even when you look underneath, yeah, you see the gun here, but other than that, um, not not that much at all. Um, and he does come with a gun, like that. Folds out, and you can actually fire it if, if you want. Um, it fires pretty far. I'm, uh, fires pretty far. And it's, it's a transparent purple missile. It fire, yeah, it does. So, like I said, it fires very far. So, and just pegs in under there. So, uh, I mean, it, it's an overall very nice, very good looking mixing truck. Um, quick size comparison. Here's Long Haul, and, uh, is Rampage. And I don't have, uh, Demolisher simply because I thought that figure sucked, so I never got it. Um, so yeah, uh, his fellow constructor guns here, he is the longest. He's the biggest in robot mode. He's not the... I wouldn't say he's up the heaviest. He, um, long haul is definitely the, the heaviest. Um, so this is just an order of awesomeness. Uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So, so um, this is he's the best, second best, and he's the worst. So these are these are the three Constructicons that appeared in a movie out of seven. We uh, sadly we never got a Scrapper or Overload or High Tower, um, but we did get the other four. So good good enough for me. Good enough for me. Um, Get out of the way. <coughs> so transformation. What you want to do first is you go ahead and pull this piece down like that. Make sure this this uh, piece here is not just on a ball joint. Pops off like that. Just a simple ball joint there. It's very loose too. Um, pull it up and then this letter will come forward. And you see a little tab right there. A little hole right there. A t uh, tab. A whole tab. Pull this piece up and then it'll tab in like there. Like that. And then, what you want to do is, um, oh, by the way, this guy is a triple changer. So we'll be going to the triple changed form first. 
and then to the robot mode. Okay, okay. Is that okay with you guys? Okay, good. Um, next, what you want to do is you go ahead and grab these side panels here. Just pull them out. And you tab them. They just tab in like that. They just tab in. Rotate them up like that. And then you can pretty much just take the whole thing apart. Split this the the mixing barrel here. You can see his arms are inside this thing. Um, I just think the transformation behind this guy is amazing. So, just let you guys know. Um, so, open up the arms, just and uh, these fall off all the time, and I mean all the time. They're just on ball joints, so it, it it's irritating, it really is. Um, so basically, uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's very fiddly to transform this guy's arms. Uh, rotate this piece around. Um, take this piece, rotate it 180 degrees, and collapse it onto the barrel here like that. Fold his hand out. Fold his um, hand to separate his fingers. Um, I like to bend this piece here. I have to bend it in, and then rotate this piece here so it's facing up so you see the Decepticon logo, and then this piece will fold on under that piece like that. This is how I like his arm to be sh um, shown, like that. So let's do the same with this side. Uh, go and unfold it. Rotate this piece around. Rotate this, fold the hand out, um, rotate this piece in, like that, and then this piece here will come up, like that. And then, uh, actually this goes underneath, like that. So, uh, yeah, here is, uh, Mixmaster's arms, and you can see, it's, uh, it's big, this guy's becoming big. So, uh, yeah, so um, next what you want to do is you go ahead for the cab piece here. Um, go ahead and bring these pieces up like that. These pieces just flip up. Flip the cab section out and down and just detach it. You can actually go ahead and flip this tab out like that. And you can go and rotate this thing 180 degrees like that. And then for the legs here, just go ahead and bring these pieces down. You see his face in there. Um, next what you want to do is you can go ahead and bring this piece up like that and just bring it up and that will clip in to this piece here like that and then uh, rotate this piece here rotate it uh, 180 degrees so the smokestack is up in front of his uh, right right beside his face and these pieces are back here like that same on this side just go ahead and, oops, sorry rotate it like that so it's like that and then now what you want to do is you can go ahead and uh, split legs here like that rotate them 180 degrees um, extend them out like that um, foot try to do this piece up rotate it fold the toe down and, and that's his foot that's pretty much his foot same on this side just fold it out rotate it fold the foot down and that's his foot and uh, finally what you want to do is uh, you go ahead and just according this in. There's a tab here that will eventually end up on this tab here. Just push it all in like that and just push it. And it'll, it will hold in very well. Very well. And uh, here you'll see this hole here, this uh, hole that goes through this whole piece. And the tab here on the cab will just uh, fold in and you can just push it in like that. So you can see he has a truck ass. It's kind of funny. I wish they made it a split. But, you know, it's Hasbro. What do you expect? You expect a lot from Hasbro, but you get half. Um, but, uh, you know, this guy's amazing. This guy's amazing. I'll say there right now. It's amazing. It's very amazing. So, uh, here he is in robot mode. Oh, crap. I forgot to give him, uh, turn him into his, uh... I forgot to get, turn him into his uh, triple changer mode. His ta um, tank mode. I'll do it later. Um, he's not tank mode. Sorry. Uh, it's, a, it's a cannon mode. So, here's Mixed Master in robot mode. And just a quick size comparison here is with uh, Vo um, De uh, Scout Class Brimstone. Um, it's the only thing I had right now. But he's bigger. He's a lot bigger. He can murder, he can murder this guy in like 2.7 seconds. Okay, yeah. There. Size comparison is done. Okay, so we have Mixmaster in robot mode. And he's awesome. He looks so badass. I mean, just look at this thing. I mean, he looks like a bat. He could kick some ass. I mean, this guy is just awesome. I mean, he, uh, yeah, he has that weird truck, and he and he falls over a lot. He he likes to do the splits. He likes to do the splits a lot. So um, uh, 
So, uh, yeah, I mean, he, uh, he does have his flaws, like, a very, very fiddly transformation. Um, these things just get in the way of everything. And uh, his legs are just, the, some pin joints are really weak and some are really stiff. Like, the ones on his feet are really stiff. And the ones on his, um, thighs are really, really weak. You can see right now, he just, he just slides and, and slides. I mean, I'm not... I'm not impressed by that, um, but uh, his articulation is pretty amazing. I mean, I love the fact that they give him so much articulation in the arms. So I'll show you all the, artic all the hinges. He has a rotating hinge here. He has a swivel hinge here. He has a hinge here. He has another hinge right here. He has a rotating hinge here. That fell off. He has a swivel hinge here. He has another rotating hinge, uh, another rotating hinge here, and another swivel hinge here, and then these things go in and out. So as you can see, this guy has so much arm articulation, um, ever. And I mean, this guy just outdoes oh, like pretty much every single Transformer figure I've had with art in articulation-wise. It's just, it's amazing. I mean, even the head has like more than two joints in it. Like, okay, so you got this little hinge here in the head, this little hinge here, and this ball joint here. I mean, just look at that thing. I mean, it's it's awesome. The face just looks awesome. I love the detail in this guy. It just it just looks awesome. And uh, so no waist or glitch. I'm surprised by that. Um, legs go forward and back. They're on the ratchet. Um, they go in and out on one joint in here, and then they go. They have double hinge here. The upper thigh swivel. This thing goes in and out. It bends fully at the knee. Fully goes all the way back. Um, the foot in and out, and the toe goes up and down. And you can get some pretty dynamic poses into this guy, I mean, yeah, like, if you're playing with this guy and if you're making, like, battles, he can be, like, pretty messy. Like, he's fighting someone and, like, every, he, like, you can use this tank things as, uh, as a machine, or, oh, sorry, uh, what, what am I talking about? Um, you can use these things as shields, and they can, like, fall off, and you can use them to hit people. Um, they, it's, it's just awesome how realistic this guy is. But also, it sacrifices for the annoyingness of fiddling with this guy. So... Um, I mean, and also the box has false advertising. It says he has Mech Alive in his chest. It says he has spinning gears in his chest. And uh, it doesn't. It's uh, nothing. It's just his wheels under here. So that's kind of... Thank you, Hasbro. Um, so, uh, I mean, he just, he looks vaguely bat-like. Not Batman bat-like. I mean, just he looks like a bat. I mean, this... I swear, one more time this thing falls off. Man, he's irritating. I do recommend this guy, though. He's awesome. He's awesome. I do recommend him. Though. Let me get this. Uh, let's tap it on. Yep, man, he falls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just use some nail polish remover on this guy. Every, pretty much every joint. But uh, he's awesome. And I'll say that. He's awesome. I love the paint apps. I love the purple on his knees. I love the uh, the cannon here. You can fire. You can actually untab and bring it up like that, and you can fire it like that, right over his head. And that look that that doesn't look too bad. That actually looks kind of cool. And uh, speaking about his gun, um, let's go into his um, third mode. So I haven't done his third mode in a while. So uh, please correct me um, if if I'm if I uh, if I mess up at all. So uh, what you can do is untab this piece here, like that. Ah, come on! Um, rotate his legs. I th no, not his legs. What does this look like? There we go. So, pretty much just pin this, bring this piece up. Um, this piece, these pieces come down. You gotta separate these. Uh, sorry, you hear the phone in the background. Um, you can pretty much just extend his hands out like that. Um, these truck pieces, these wheels, come down like that, and then his hands are like this, so, you want it to be like that. It's almost as if he's lying down on the ground, so, it, it's a really strange looking third mode, I don't use it at all, ever. But, um, ah, man, this is so difficult, you can see, and these things just come off so damn easily. It's, I mean, it just doesn't work for me, at all. It's very irritating. So I mean, yeah, this is this is pretty much his his third mode. Um, you get this this truck cab piece just comes on top, and his legs are in the back. 
So um, 